Hey Locomotors fans, Kate here. The SEMA show is just a few days away and each year we feature a project from the Locomotors community. This year, Alex Kulitz and the Wraith will be featured at SEMA. We're at Al's shop right now to find out a little bit more about his project. Well, my name is Alex Kulitz and the name of the project is the Wraith 1000. The project started because I race quads and I'm an older racer so I don't have the endurance of the younger guys and I'm looking for ways to make things easier and uh, on me and faster still. So as I'm racing and uh, getting exhausted and tired I thought well what can you do to soften the impact between the ground and myself and the Wraith is, is an embodiment of all those things I thought of. So if you take a look at it we have a, a triple shock suspension Two shocks on the other side and one in the center. Now, it's going to be hard for me to lift this up, but I'm going to try. But as you lift up on the shock, uh, without knocking the rake over, what happens is this comes up, and this collapses here, and the center shock takes a lot of the, the hit. So we have a total of 18 inches of wheel travel from here up to here on the, on the front. And on the back, it's the same thing. We have a swing arm, and on the swing arm, we have an independent rear suspension, which obviously isn't assembled yet but uh, it will be, will be soon. But uh, the whole genesis of this was to go faster and safer and for me to win races and not get beat up in the process. So I figured if uh, it's something that I could do for myself that maybe other people would like a high performance ATV also. Um, I've been a member of the community at Local Motors for a long time. Kind of silent sometimes, uh, involved in a couple things. But I went ahead and posted this project on the site to, to get feedback, to get some uh, designer influence and the participation. And we still have so much to do and so many things that, that have to be fixed to, uh, to make it race worthy. Because the ultimate goal of this is to make it race worthy and go into the uh, Vegas Torino race, um, go into uh, uh, score races, which are the Baja, uh, Baja 500, the Baja 1000, tested on the Baja 250 first, which is a really rough race. And that, uh, that word rough is really what embodiments this whole project. I wanted something that was going to be durable, that wasn't going to fall apart, that the engine wouldn't uh, explode on me. So everything about this has been overbuilt. I have an SV1000 engine in here. It's 110 horsepower, 72 foot-pounds of torque. It's off an 03 SV1000 motor, or motorcycle. Uh, it is built for, for its engine capacity, unlike a, a ATV 450, which gets overbuilt, and then it breaks because the components aren't made to handle the, the stress of the power that's putting out. So we've got a strong motor, it's heavy. We've got a strong frame to be able to take that. Uh, we have overbuilt everything, uh, axles, suspension. We have a high profile, high clearance, buggy style front end on it. Everything here is designed to take a big hit. The tires over here are uh, run flat tires. They're very heavy, but because of that weight, you can, uh, you can get them punctured, you can cut sidewalls, and you can still ride it like it's meant to be ridden and not have to baby it to the next pit stop, which may be 30, 40 miles away. So everything about this is designed to make it to the end without having to stop for anything except fuel. Uh, you can't stand out, you can't win if you do the same thing as everyone else. So this project really came around with designing it around a goal of winning, not a goal of incremental improvement about, uh, of what's currently out there. Uh, but no, when he, when he called uh, and said that Alex would like to go to SEMA, my thought was, well, of course I'd like to take it to SEMA. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know. I got a couple guys here who, who, who work 24 hours a day. No, I'm sorry, it was 28 hours a day, eight days a week to make this happen. So, you know, I'm going to sweat really hard to get it over there. Um, no, it was a wonderful opportunity to, to do that. And it, uh, it made us go into full overdrive to get it done. It gave us a hard goal that was going to, uh, that had to be met. And uh, it, was, it was just a fantastic opportunity. It's probably going to launch my company which is fantastic and I take a look at Local Motors as being a type of company where that is what they want to do. Get new ideas out in the marketplace, launch them, make them successful and continue to do that time and time and time again. Oh, perfect! Thanks Local Motors.